All right, guys. So I want to get into a conversation about game studios and companies coming into Roblox and developing games and being accused of being a copy of other games uh, and, and being told they're copying other games. Now, granted, um, there, there, there has been a tremendous amount of games that have come into Roblox that have gotten DMCA um, and have been removed from Roblox completely. Uh, there was like that custom pets adopt me game uh, that was removed. There's been a few others as well that have come in and they've been uh, taken down and removed. And even the founders and developers uh, have gotten banned in some of these cases and situations. Um, but then as you look through the landscape of Roblox, um, you have Fashion Famous. And since Fashion Famous, you have so many games that are almost identical to what Fashion Famous is. And uh, I've played a few. Uh, one of them is It Girl. Uh, another one, of course, is, um, is Dress to Impress. And it's funny how those games are at each other saying they're a copy of one another when Fashion Famous came out before all of them. Um, so, so if anything, Fashion Famous should be DMCAing uh, these other games, but they don't. Uh, and, and so I'm just curious uh, to find out what you all think. And I would love to see in the comments uh, you guys talk a little bit about this. But we're, we're going to talk about one uh, game studio and company that's, that's not even out. Like the game's not even out. They've just been teasing it on X and um, they've gotten some love and some people kind of already uh, talking uh, about it. Now, I, I don't know um, the developers of this game. Uh, I've tried to reach out to them to try to find out who they are and try to communicate with them and uh, kind of find out a little bit more about the game. Uh, but it's what you see on the screen right now. It's Loris Games. Um, and this is one of their little videos right now where it's showing the system to feed the dragon over here. And there's been comments, people saying, oh my gosh, you can't just rip off one game. You're ripping off two games. Like you're ripping off Adopt Me and Overlook Bay. Um, but let's be real. Let, let, let's be real about something. Let's be real about something right now, guys. Uh, didn't Overlook Bay like rip off the community and rip off a bunch of players like like Wonderwork Studios, like people are pretty pissed at them still, and, and people are pretty upset with Zach and what they did over there. They they launched a whole bunch of games in Roblox, Overlook Bay, Overlook Bay 2, and some other like holiday versions of it. Uh, and a lot of people spent a lot of real money in there and they abandoned the game. Like they haven't updated it since winter of last year, uh, which is pretty insane. Uh, you're talking about 10 months without updating your game 10 months 10 months like that that's insane so so if a game is ripping off overlook bay well well too bad because uh truth be told like overlook bay you you abandon your community uh and then and then there's like the game uh the studio that developed role pets right uh they've abandoned their community as well people have spent robux a ton of money a ton of effort uh into the game and they've abandoned their community so quite frankly, uh, I'm on two sides of the spectrum here, guys. I don't blame people from taking inspiration and developing games to come into Roblox to try to compete with these other games that they probably played and they probably enjoyed. Now, granted, Adopt Me is one of the most popular games in all of Roblox with several billion, tens of billions of visits into the game. And hundreds of thousands of people playing actively daily. Um, it is one of the most popular games in all of Roblox. Uh, and, and they've created an incredible brand and they haven't abandoned their community. So, so copying that game, I could see, I could see people getting upset. I could see people getting angry. Um, and, and I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that in a little bit on what I think and, and what I really believe. Um, but but we're gonna we're gonna look at this a little bit more. We're gonna look at this Loris games because this is the most recent example. Uh, and I'm gonna kind of scroll through and show you. This is their X guys. These are their posts on X guys. Um, and, and and it kind of goes through and it shows you some of their pets and some of the things they do. Um, 
But this is the first post that came out. This is the first po the post that came out. And it says, some treats aren't just for humans. Your pets will love what's coming to Pet City. So the game's name is Pet City. And as you can tell, it's Pet City's groceries store. And they have taken out a kitsune, which, which resembles very much the kitsune from Adopt Me. I will be honest. It really looks like the kitsune from Adopt Me, guys. And it looks like the system to feed your pet is very similar to the system of feeding the pets in Adopt Me. The other thing that looked very similar, guys, is the UI. So looking at the picking up your pet, um, all of that stuff looks very eerily similar to the same UI as Adopt Me. I mean, it almost looks like a complete copy uh, when it comes to the UI there. The other thing that looks almost like a complete copy is the cache thing. If you see on the top right over here, uh, let's see if I could zoom in a little bit. Uh, let's see, guys. Uh, hopefully, you see it. Uh, the cash, uh, where it says five hundred and fifty-four bucks, guys. Um, oh my gosh, that looks like like a tremendous amount, similar to Adopt Me. So I could see, I could absolutely see where people are already commenting on their post and kind of saying, okay, this looks like Adopt Me. Um, and the grocery store, they've gone and said, it, it kind of was like Overlook Bay. It's kind of like Overlook Bay too. All right, so, so let's go ahead and see some more of their posts. Uh, here they are. It says the grocery store shelves are empty. We definitely need some new employees. Will you be the first to stock it up? And they're showing us the inside of their grocery store with a pet that I, I, I have no idea what on earth it is. I have no idea what that pet is, but it's it's some kind of a bird. It's some kind of a bird, but it's definitely not. It's a bunny bird. Bro, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Um, it's, a, it's a fluffy moth. It's a fluffy moth. So it's a fluffy moth, which I give them credit. That pet looks unique. That pet looks unique. It does not look like anything that Adopt Me has gone and done. It looked like a bird. It looked like a bird. Um, but yes, the inside of the grocery store looks quite a bit like the one in Overlook Bay. But again, Overlook Bay, you guys, uh, uh, Zach, I'm sorry. Wonder to Work Studio, I'm sorry. You guys abandoned your community. So people that want to take inspiration and build things that are very similar to your game, uh, I don't think you're going to say. I, I really don't, guys. I really don't. That's my opinion. That's the way I feel. Uh, and here it says Pet City is coming later this fall. Uh, so this this pet in particular, I would say it might be a little unique, might be a little unique. All right. All right. So so now now we're coming over here and it says home sweet home your way. Uh, customize your in game house with endless color options. Which will you choose? Um, so so this is one of the homes. And, and again, the UI, I'm sorry, but the UI that they're using for the menu looks a lot like Adopt Me's UI. The homes look kind of similar. It does kind of look similar to Overlook Bay. It kind of does look similar to Overlook Bay. Now, I'm giving the studio the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt because it, it looks like they're trying, right? It looks like they're trying to create something. There is a thin line between being inspired by and being a complete copy. Now, whatever that thing, oh, is that uh, some kind of a hedgehog or porcupine? Uh, it looks completely different. Uh, it looks completely different than any pet in Adopt Me or Overlook Bay. Uh, let's be real. Uh, I'm honest, and I'm being honest about it, okay? Um, so now, we'll, we'll, oh, there they are on that same pet again. Uh, create your dream home in Pet City. Explore unique wallpapers. Okay, so, so, so let's check this out. Let's check this out. Let's check this out, guys. Let's see the home building features. So you could change the wallpapers. Uh, it, uh, it, yeah, that, that's definitely different, guys. That definitely looks different than the one in Adopt Me. So I give them credit for that. Okay. Uh, the home building, again, kind of kind of like Overlook Bay, kind of like Adopt Me, choosing the wallpaper, things like that. But again, why wouldn't you take inspiration from the most popular, one of the most popular games in all of Roblox, which is Adopt Me? Like, why would you not be inspired to build something like it? 
And if anything, uplift game and adopt me should look at that and be flattered to think of how many people want to copy their game. How many people want to be like adopt me? Um, now, granted, some of this UI, they could probably change up. Like that's a folding chair. That looks completely different. So at least they're giving us different things. However, I will say again, the UI is, is very similar. Uh, let's, let's take a look at some more of their stuff here. Uh, let's take a look. This is their Kitsune, guys. This is their Kitsune, which, which I mean, they basically just color. Oh, that's a lollipop. Lollipop. A lion. Bro, the lion is the blazing lion. The hedgehog is different. The hedgehog is different. That fluffy moth is definitely different. The Kitsune is just recolored. Uh, that lollipop is unique, okay? The, it, it's a blazing lion, guys. It, that, that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got to go back to it. I got to go back to it because... Because what they've gone and done, guys, is they took the blazing lion. They took the blazing lion from Adopt Me. They probably took the model, literally the exact model of the blazing lion in Adopt Me and just added the colors of an actual lion. That is 100% what it looks like there. Um, so, so it looks like some of their pets, they literally copied, right? But then they got unique on some of their pets, like the hedgehog, okay? Uh, you you got to be honest. The hedgehog looks completely different. Uh, it, it, it doesn't look like a complete copy. That lollipop, whatever the heck that is, bro, that is also completely different. Like that just looks like this big puff of fur. Uh, I don't even know what it is. I don't even know how to describe it. Like guys, comment below because I'm, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I really don't. I really don't. Um, but then... But then, you know, they, they, they've gone ahead and copied, like, the Kitsune, again, is, a, is just a recolor. Uh, the Lollipop, okay, okay, I give them that. Um, but the Lollipop and the Hedgehog, so far, is the only thing that is kind of unique there. Uh, so are they actually copying? I don't know. But there, there's the Kitsune again. There's the Kitsune again. And there's the Pet Shop. Um, again, like, every, every game has the same thing. And that's, that, that, that's something I want to talk about. Guys, if you're going to create a game, create a story, create something that actually is different, like be inspired, fine, but create something different. Give users a unique experience. You want to stand out, give users a unique experience. That's my recommendation. Uh, take it for what it is. All right. All right. But we'll, we'll keep looking again. There's the Kitsune again. That looks more like the Glacier Kitsune. Uh, that looks more like the Glacier Kitsune. Uh, they're riding a bicycle. Uh, again, very similar to Overlook Bay. Uh, very, very similar. Uh, but again, Overlook Bay, I don't mind you copying because, you know, uh, um, they abandoned it. So too bad for them. Um, but but that's, that's that. And they're going through the neighborhood, it looks like. It looks like they're going through the neighborhood. And there's hills and things like that. So Adopt Me doesn't have hills, so they're not copying Adopt Me there, but but they're definitely looking like they're copying Overlook Bay. Um, and, and here's the Kitsune again. Uh, basically, what they're trying to show you is that they added legs, that they added legs. So if you see right here, they're showing you that they added legs instead of just the paws, and, and they actually had a pull. Um, we're refining our pet designs to make them truly unique and we need your help. The paws are good, another kind or no paws. So this is kind of what they're doing. Uh, and they're saying the paws are good. It looks like that's what won. Those only 24 volts, but that looks like that's what won. And they actually added legs. So unlike the floating little uh, circles that Adopt Me uh, has gone and done. Uh, so it looks like they're trying to change it a little bit, but the rest of the kitsune looks like they took the model of the kitsune from adopt me from uplift games and literally just added links to it uh but at least at least they did something at least they did something and then they're asking if they make should make their pets rideable or flyable hmm how about you make your pets that your pets could actually ride the vehicles instead of you wouldn't that be more interesting where your pets teleport and you just stand there waiting? <laughs> that would make it interesting. 
I believe so. Uh, so here they're 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 showing some more stuff. Check out the new pie menu in Pet City. So it seems like they went ahead and they ch changed their menu. Let's see the menu. Okay. Let, let's go ahead. Let, let's see your menu. Okay. Okay. So guys, they did change their menu. They did make the UI different now. Okay. So you see, before we talk about you're a copy, maybe they started off with inspiration from Adopt Me and now they're adding unique features such as copying the model of the Kitsune and adding links to it, copying the models of your home build, but adding new menu features to it. So, so they're, they're evolving a little, they're evolving, they're evolving. Uh, and, 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 and here we go. And here we go. Uh, you, 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 you guys don't help your cause with this picture here. You guys don't help your cause with this picture here. We're already working on some new friends. Which feature should we create next for Pet City? Drop your ideas below. They went ahead and posted the unicorn and the red dragon from Adopt Me. Here in a few posts before, they showed pets that were getting a unique type of legs that were actually legs. And now they've gone ahead and created the exact same model from Adopt Me. Uh, here I will have to say, guys, guys, Laura's Games, Laura's Games, uh, you literally went ahead and replicated 100% the pets in Adopt Me. Like, not even recolored. You just said, here's Adopt Me models. Let's go ahead and spit them out and try to create a game. Guys, I, 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 don't, I don't think you're going in the right direction. I don't think you guys are going in the right direction with this. I think, I think you need to change a lot. I think you need to change a lot here. Let's see what comments. I think I might have commented on this one. I think I did. I don't know. Love the pets. Love the pets. They're calling them shiny because they're not going to call them neon because then it's literally adopt me, right? Then it's literally adopt me. Uh, but you could call them whatever you want. Guys, these are adopt me models. Like, 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 stop, stop, stop. When's beta testing? When will the game be released? You mean stealing designs from adopt me? You work so hard. Yeah. And there they actually went ahead and tagged about me. I agree. I agree. Now, will they change them? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. And here we go. Someone else. Someone else is tagging Uplift Games and Adopt Me, which I agree. I agree. I agree. E, I can't wait for this game. So, so this person is acting like they're an Adopt Me person and they can't wait for this game. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, sure. 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 Uh, uh, so, so I won't, I won't get too much more into those comments there guys, because the, these are a hundred percent adopt me pets, like, like they're adopt me's pets guys. Uh, let's be real. Uh, and then the grocery store, uh, here we go. The grocery store guys, that's like, I'm sorry. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, and here we go. Here we go. Um, what will you feed your dragon? So once again, guys, they, they went ahead and they added nothing. And, and it looks like the menu went back, guys. Now I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt because they're still in development. So I don't know if they're using this just as models. And what they went ahead and did is they added a little color wick to the tail, hoping that Adopt Me will not DMCA them, guys. But it is the Red Dragon from Adopt Me, the exact same model. They just added a few different features and i think in this post as well guys uh they went ahead and they got um some different messages as well um so here we go do you all copy play adopt me asset pets and then tweak them a bit to make them your own because that's definitely what it seems like all the posts i've seen going around about this game any actual concept and, and, and I got to be honest, I got to be honest, I got to be honest, like, like there's some talented artists, there are some talented people, I've seen them, I've seen them all over X, I see them in Roblox, I see them everywhere, they don't, it's not expensive to hire these people, 
or you could make them part of the team, an ownership team, and give them part of the Robux that is earned from the game itself to create something unique and something different and something truly memorable. And, and here's what we've gotten. Uh, probably the same people who stopped last time. Who they stopped last time? It's not the same people because I actually know the same people. I actually know the people who created that custom pets game that was stopped, that almost got banned, that got DMCA'd, and that got taken down. I actually have met them and I've actually chatted with them. Uh, so it's not the same people. It is a different studio, um, but I'm just I'm just mind blown. I'm just mind blown. Uh, it looks like a combination of Adopt Me and Old Overlook Bay. I agree. I agree. I thought they were going to start doing something different because uh, in one of their posts, uh, they started showing that it was going to be something different. Now, I went ahead and I made a comment. I went ahead and made a comment, and it looks like they took my comment down. And I think they might have told, did they? Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. It looks like they did. And the reason why is because I give some sound advice, guys. And, and I'm very honest with people. And my advice to them was very simple. And I'll go ahead and share it because I love for people to hear feedback, especially if you're building a game that people want to play. It's fine to be inspired by other games. That is perfectly fine. Of course, I would also be inspired by Adopt Me. Wildly successful. The game is great. A lot of people enjoy it. They love the pets. But the one thing that new developers, especially young developers, which Roblox has done and done a great job, is allowing young developers to come into the platform and to create memorable experiences for the platform itself. However, where Roblox has failed, and I think the community has failed, is to provide the educational part because these young developers and community people don't understand what an intellectual property is or how you could get in trouble for stealing intellectual property. They think that because the models are there, they could take the models and spit them out, retweak them, and create their own game, and everything is fine. I believe that Roblox needs to do a better job with all developers going into the platform and teaching them about intellectual property. I also believe that Roblox needs to have, they have people in there that when you create an image in a UGC item, that they ban you and take you down immediately. They should have moderation when it comes to developers creating games. Or instead of just taking the game down or banning the creators of the game, is provide them with information to let them know. We notice that you're taking some intellectual property, some models and renderings from other games. Here's what you could do. Provide them with an educational resource because education, guys, is so important. And Roblox is such a great community atmosphere if it is used in the right way. However, what has happened with Roblox, and we witnessed it with Dress to Impress, is you have a younger audience that's coming in and developing because they are talented. They have a lot of talent. They are learning coding. They're learning all these things, which is amazing. What they're not learning is community building. They're not learning leadership skills. They're not learning how to defuse situations, what intellectual property is, what copyright is. These are the things that Roblox needs to step their game up in and be a better platform and resource for these developers and individuals, especially since a lot of them are young and they don't understand these concepts. Not to say that not all young people don't grasp these concepts because a lot of them do. But the truth is as follows. This game and these developers are trying to create something. So I give them kudos for that. Because it doesn't matter if you're taking models, you still got to rig everything, you still got to create code, you still got to build a lot of these things, even if you're taking already existing models. So they're still doing something which is pretty freaking cool. So kudos to you guys at Loris Games for doing that. Where I look at it and I say, you started going a direction, but now you're just using models and retweaking them. My advice is, Get with Roblox, understand what intellectual property is, understand what these things are so you don't get DMCA'd because quite frankly, quite frankly, 
I will not spend a single Robux in any of these games for one simple reason. There is a 99.9999999% chance that the game will get DMCA, the game will get taken down, and then Roblox does a horrible job in protecting those people that spend the Robux. Once again, similar situation with Ropets, which is a little different because they did not get DMCA, they just abandoned their community. Same thing with Overlook Bay and Wonderwork Studio. They abandon their community. Those people that spend all that Robux, you last you lost your Robux. That's fine. Why? Because it's like a business going out of business. You have a company, you go in, let's say a clothing store, you buy apparel, and you're investing money and time in buying apparel from them, ordering things from them, and then they go out of business. That happens. But if you knock off and you take the exact same models, exact same everything, and you just change one or two colors here and there and call it a game, and then you get copyright and then you get taken down, there is no protection for the user. So my advice is, guys, for those of you that are gamers and not developers, if you see a game that's a copy, don't spend Robux on it. Don't spend not even a single Robux because chances are they're going to get DMCA and taken down and you've gone and you lost your Robux. The other sad thing is once they've accumulated a certain amount of Robux, they could take it off the platform and have it for themselves. Or they could create the premium, have an alt account in the group and just funnel all that Robux to that alt account and laugh their way to spending their Robux and whatever games they desire and like or even cashing them out. So at the end of the day, to recap, guys, if you're building a game inside of Robux, congratulations, that is awesome. Just make sure you understand what you're doing. And for community members, guys, look at the game, see what it is. There are so many fake games out there. There's so many copycats out there. There's so many of those things out there, guys. Don't spend your Robux on it. Spend your Robux on the games that you like, you play, and you will actually engage in and that you really believe will not be taken down. Obviously, find ones with very large communities because chances are those games are already thriving and they're not going to get DMCA. They're actually going to be the games that are DMCA other smaller games. With that, guys, comment below. Let me know what experience you've had in other custom pet type games or knockoff games in Roblox. I would love to see. Also, let me know if there's any games that I'm not aware of that are doing exactly this so I could go ahead and have some fun in the game and expose them. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.